Um, so very quickly, this is our gift bag uh, gift. It's a little drawn up thing. You can have a genuine sphere. This is guaranteed, although we're leaving town pretty quick. So I don't know if you'll uh, have a chance to catch us if that fails. But, but they, I just, wor they work no matter how you put them together. And that's so, the important thing yeah. about that. So you just make these little strips and you got yourself. So we just wanted to say a few words about the pieces that we've had the opportunity to make here and a little bit about the process and all of that. Um, so just very quickly, these are the, this is what we've been able to do here. We had the double trimend. It's not just your ordinary double trimend. This one has hexa sticks. And uh, that was made in G4, G8. Uh, this is one of N. And the thing here is that I'm really a little embarrassed that after all this time, I've never actually figured out what N is. So I don't know what the real title of this piece is, if anybody wants to work that out. It's the number of ways of going through a a cube that's divided into orthants, and then those are divided into orthants, and those are divided into orthants exactly one way, up, up, up to symmetry. And then this is a gyring gyroid from 2012, and this is the one we made uh, last time, and this is the one we made uh, the other day. And I have to say that this is sort of, to me, emblematic, this particular shot where we have some work by uh, other artists here and uh, just how, what a great pleasure that is to, uh, to work with others. You want to comment on that? <clears throat> so this is the uh, assembly from Friday and uh, you can see uh, <laughs> two, so two colors, two colorations, two models. Um, we probably don't have time to, okay. I guess the point is just that we have the collaboration. That's, that's the wonderful aspect that we've been collaborating for 10 years now on these, on these sculptures. And, and there's all of you as well. So. Yeah, there's, there's the collaboration between Haim and me. And then there's the collaboration with you all. And it, it really is a pretty magical experience. Uh, and then, of course, the party. By the way, this is, uh, of course, you'll recognize uh, John Conway and uh, Vladimir and Carlos Sequin and... This is Alan Schoen, who will be in our story just in a little bit. So we wanted just to take a few minutes just to describe this one piece. We could talk about any of these at great length, but just this is our, uh, I think we decided this is our favorite, I think. And just the, uh, you might wonder, like, how does this thing put together? And um, in particular, it's very similar to our gift bag and the item and the gift bag item that we had last time as well. Do you want, so. Uh, the, uh, the critical thing is that this surface is actually a, a minimal surface, which means it's exactly the thing that would be formed by a soap film. So I made the same joke before, but I'll make it again. If you take this thing and you dip it in, salt, in soap water, this is what you'll get. You'll actually, it'll actually conform to that surface. So this is the actual gyroid surface, and this is, the, um, this, this is actually exactly how we modeled it. So one thing that's curious about this piece is that the double trimend and the um, gyroid pieces actually intertwine in a way that uh, you could actually, dis in principle, disassemble one of them and it, it, they're actually scaled correctly to fit one around the other. And then there was all kinds of computer modeling. Uh, this was, uh, this is Conway's Mu Snub Cube, right? And then here it is relaxed in surface evolver. This is actually pretty close to how the pieces were laid out. And then this was all chopped up. And then... Heim's more in the theoretical end of it. And when it comes to my studio, uh, here you can see the first step was to make this crazy pin jig, which I made uh, a whole bunch of precise pins, stuck them in a hole, and that was our map to start. And then I covered it with clay. Um, replicated it in plaster and then fiberglass, used that as basically the form for assembling all those strips. It took some, uh, definitely experimenting with a couple different ways to get the look we like. <laughs> At least a couple. Yeah. And, and, then then, also, and then also, this was kind of fun. These are actually hand-drawn curves on here. These are optimized, in a sense, by hand, like letting our hand follow to figure out what those curves are. And then my the thing I've got my hand on there is the the crazy system for keeping all the uh, bolt holes spaced right, and that was a little bit tricky, just sort of trial and error going back and forth. Um, but 
there you can see some of the plates being made. There's one with the little dot welds that was a, a strategy we tried and abandoned. Um, and you can see the form there has been welded on a lot. And then there's all the pieces laid out at the party. And as usual, everybody gets right to it. And here's a nice little sequence which we enjoyed a lot. <laughs> and I guess, um, again, that's what's nice about this shot, again, is that it's the context. It's really such a pleasure to be working here with other people. That's really the, I think all of us appreciate being here at the gathering with such, we're all a bunch of pretty high quality folk, and it's great to, to be here. And I guess I'd like to thank, uh, we'd like to thank you, but we'd also like to thank, of of course, Tom Rogers, who really gave us this opportunity in the first place, and the G4G Foundation, and uh, really everybody. So thank you very, very much.